Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more Slam Dunk. You guys have been haunting me for Slam Dunk reactions. You guys have... It's well received on the channel. I'm not going to lie. I didn't expect it to be so... Um, you know, for you guys to be so receptive of this anime. Even people who haven't seen the anime are watching it with me now. Or whether you're watching it with me now, whether you're watching it for the 20th time around hopefully you guys enjoy my reactions to it and hopefully um you are hearing the words that i'm saying during this anime it's only uh six episodes in um but as i said i don't see any elements yet because i mean it's the beginning of the anime um you know and usually older animes they usually take a while to get into you know the greatness of what makes it great older animes nowadays you know the the animes um nowadays animes i think modern animes do a better job of getting to it you get what i'm saying like get into it to get the person involved like in older animes what i've noticed is that it takes them five six episodes to really even 10 episodes sometimes to really establish what they're trying to establish because they felt like i think back then they didn't really uh most of the animes were very episodic so it was like it wasn't like seasons it wasn't like oh we're we have 24 episodes to get this part of the manga then you get what i'm saying so it was a little different back then it was just like episode by episode man let's try to stretch this even if it's not in the manga let's add this to it you know what i'm saying it was a little bit more tolerating um not that that makes it bad just a little bit more slower pace to start off you know what i mean um but in any case let's jump into this i'm psyched i'm ready to go and i'm saying this right now because i know a lot of you guys i'm gonna say something i know a lot of you guys you just come to my videos whether you're on early access or not, I know you probably do it, right? You come to my videos and you just jump to the description and go watch the reaction. You never come back for my reviews and you never watch my intros, right? And I say stuff sometimes and then people come ask me stuff in the comment section. But that's not what I'm going to say right now. I am planning to give away stuff for this holiday season. If you do not watch my reviews start watching them because you never know when i'm going to announce something when i'm going to say oh you have a chance to win this you're never going to know and i'm going to be giving away some great stuff in this holiday season and i'm going to be starting very very soon i know we're in the beginning of october right now but i'm starting very very soon because i know covid is out there i've already start started to um, order stuff some of the stuff will be drop shipped drop shipped of course for the stuff that I'm planning to do and give away on the channel and it's going to be um, it's gonna be for the for the most part I can tell you it's gonna be stuff relating to anime stuff relating to TV shows and stuff like that um, there's other stuff that's gonna be outside of the realm of stuff that we do on the channel but I want to do some theme stuff like people who love to watch like haikyuu and stuff like that um you know what i mean i'm hope i'm hopefully you know hopefully i, I could get a sponsor with it with a, you know an anime site or something of the sort i don't know if they'll reach out to me because you know uh, i've seen a lot of reaction channels get love from these you know these anime merch sites so it's kind of it's kind of weird to me that nobody has reached out to me yet. But you know I'm not I'm not salty or anything. You know what I'm saying I'm just you know I'm doing my thing. I'm doing my thing. You know what I'm saying. But even if I gotta spend my own money and you know give away something and show you guys my appreciation, I don't mind doing that. You know what I'm saying. So I appreciate you guys. Let's get to the reactions. Now we'll see you guys for the review. All right. 
right, so that was episode seven and eight of Slam Dunk. I enjoyed it very much. As I said, you know, as I said, it's more of a slower paced anime. Um, well, it's starting out slower. You know what I'm saying? As I said, in comparison to, you know, classic anime is just always, for some reason, they just, they, um, they, they used to take their time to actually tell the story. Even if, you know, um, the manga is way ahead, they still do take the time to flesh out certain things before they jump into the all out main purpose of what the story is about. And I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Sometimes I do, but for this one, no, because it's top of it's a sports anime. So they have to give you all that stuff because once the competition starts, things are gonna start. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like how Haikyuu kind of started out. Like we didn't really get to see much of Haikyuu, but we did get some really early indication that Karasuna can be very good. You get what I'm saying? Um, now they're a beast of a team in watching, you know, season four, part two, you know, um, so they've come a long way and I want to see the journey also here with, with slam dunk. That's what I'm here for. I want to see the journey. I'm looking forward to the journey. So when it comes on to what they're trying to establish now, where they're putting an obstacle in front of him to see if he will, you know, switch to judo even though the tactics that dude is using to try to lure him is not great. You know what I'm saying? Like you have pictures of a girl from elementary school, from middle school. You know what I'm saying? That's not cool. That's not cool, bro. That's a little bit stalkerish in my opinion, because you get what I'm saying? Like, I understand why he keeps the pictures, but at the same time, why do you keep those pictures? <laughs> You know what I mean? So it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird that he still has those pictures. Or, you know what I'm saying? I understand that he's in love with her. I get it. But this girl ain't giving you no no shine. Why do you have pictures of her from, you know, so early on? You know, it's kind of creepy. I'm not going to lie. That, that is kind of creepy. And now Anamichi, he wants a piece of that. He wants the pictures too. I mean, before it was, it was like, he asked him is like I didn't know you like him that young but at the same time is is like now that you realize that it's Haruko now you want the freaking pictures like <laughs> you're just as bad <laughs> you're just as bad you know what I'm saying in high school there's only one reason you're keeping a girl's photo around there's only one reason it's not just to look at you know what I'm saying it's to do to do <laughs> you know what I'm saying it's to do those unsacred things to, to while holding the picture <laughs> you know what i'm saying like you're a young boy hormones are raging i get it but at the same time you also gotta understand that that is at the time an under you know what I'm saying like he's way younger than you you know what i mean if you're in high school you know first year in high school you're around i want to say they're around maybe 13 14 years old maybe 15 um i don't know i don't know i don't know but it's still creepy nonetheless no matter no matter how you gonna try to it, it's still a little creepy you know what i mean so i appreciate um what they're trying to do here with not going too much out of the scope of trying to go off book you know what i'm saying off not really off book but more of like keeping things in perspective for the audience to understand so i like that we're following the story of this how they're building the team you get what i'm saying they're building the team um and i think the team is going to be good but rukawa and hanamichi they both they both have to come together i think both of the i think eventually hanamichi is he's a wild card but he has huge potential because that boy can jump. You know what I'm saying? He has potential, but, you know, Rukawa is just an all-around good basketball basketball player. Like, he does everything kind of like, and he's very competitive too. Um, kind of reminds me a lot of Michael, Michael Jordan in that sense. Very good defense, very good offense. Um... You know, and very competitive. 
You get what I'm saying? There's plenty of NBA players that are that are like that, but to that level where, you know, people already see your greatness even before you enter the league or join the team. They can see that greatness. A LeBron James, you know what I'm saying? LeBron James wasn't the best shooter when he came in the league, but now he's one of the best shooters in my opinion even though a lot of people you know try to say that lebron james is not a great shooter the only reason why people say that is because shooting is not his main you get what i'm saying he's not a kobe bryant he's not you know what i'm saying like people who are just shooters james harden he's not like that you know what i'm saying and as i said when you know I, I and i've said it before as it's like he's going to finish as the, the you know at, with the most points ever in nba history i think he's going to break that record i think it's like thirty-four thousand or something like that is the record i don't remember exactly the exact number but kareem has that record and i think he's going to break the record i i think lebron has three maybe four more years to do to play this sport if he doesn't get like a serious serious injury which i don't think is going to happen i don't think it's going to happen knock on wood whatever you know what i'm saying i don't think it's going to happen because i don't want to see him hurt i don't want to see i want to appreciate every down to the last second of him playing this sport because we have to learn to appreciate greatness while it's here and stop hating because oh just like how i can appreciate even though I consider LeBron James to be better than Michael Jordan. That's just my opinion. You get what I'm saying? Everybody has their opinion. I believe both players are great. But the thing about Jordan fans is they do not give LeBron his flowers. They don't give his... I'm talking about casual fans. I'm talking about die-hard old-school basketball fans. They don't give LeBron any credit. They don't appreciate his greatness. They say... Oh, you know, he's three and six in the finals and all this other stuff. Even though he's one game away right now, he's one game away from round of winning his fourth championship. You know what I'm saying? Um, but still, just don't give him his credit. But it's it's all right. I just don't argue anymore with people who's you know, you know, you have all right to 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 say or to to um to your opinion of Michael Jordan because I do consider him to be um before. LeBron came on the scene and doing what he's doing now I you know what I'm saying I had Jordan as the GOAT you know what I'm saying but to me in my opinion and from what I gather and from what I've seen I think LeBron James is an overall better basketball player than Michael Jordan that's just me <laughs> that's just me but you know people can make all types of argument to say that he's not and and you're gonna have good points i'm gonna have good points i can tell i can tell you this right that no matter what we do we're not gonna have their millions <laughs> that's always shut people up because it's just like oh it's a cop out and like yeah, you can call it what it is but at the end of the day i just after a while i stop having these arguments with people because i realize that they're useless they're useless arguments it's a waste of breath you get what I'm saying? So I just have my opinion. You have yours. And, you know, I said what I say. You say what you say. And I've seen people have fights over this stuff. Like uh, fights, like physical fights. Because they can't agree on who's the better basketball player. Like seriously. So I see some of the times, you know, we just got to back off. You know what I mean? And just, it's whatever. You get what I mean? At the end of the day, there are two great basketball players. Kobe was great also, Magic was great, Larry Bird was great, all these guys are great players, you know what I'm saying, so not taking anything away from them, so you just have to appreciate them while they're here, they, they did us, created this entertainment that we just so passionate about that we will defend their honor at all costs, <laughs> you know, I appreciate it man, but in any case, Thank you guys so much. Appreciate y'all. I will see you guys for the next one, of course. Um, continue to strive, man. Continue to strive. Uh, thank you guys so much. Leave a like on the video. Leave a comment. And I will catch you guys next time for some more Slam Dunk.
です。